Now, with the Russian and Ukraine conflict, a big part of our history right now and impacting people across the globe, we wondered how kids at school are learning about it, what kind of questions they're asking, and if they're even learning about it at all. Kaylee Marantet, she visited Start High School to see how they're keeping kids up to date. So, you guys got the questions, right? It was presentation day in Ms. Schneer's class. The topic of discussion, Russia and Ukraine. It's a pinpointed moment that like we can point to, oh wow, this is a big, 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 big deal. But how do you teach teenagers something as big as the start of a war? She says she starts with the basics. Don't believe everything you see on social media. And then also look at verified, like real actual news journalism, journalistic standards news outlets. In class Monday afternoon, students presented on a more specific topic, like Berlin protests against the invasion, then cited two news sources that they got their details from. There's misinformation and disinformation anywhere they look on TikTok, social media, everywhere, and it's really hard for them, the young minds that they are, that they don't understand like what's good information and what's bad information. And the class combs through what's factual and what's not, all while learning to understand what's happening across the globe. And I'm not trying to be a gatekeeper. I'm not trying to be like, oh, well, you know, this is the world according to Mishnair. No, like we use, we use good sources. We use all kinds of really cool, like, um, techniques to kind of dissect the news. Reporting in West Toledo, Kaylee Marantet, WTOL 11.